Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be very excited because Metaphor Refantasio, if I'm saying it right, is coming out this year, and I actually got a chance to play it at Summer Game Fest. So I am very excited after my hands on, and uh, well, let's just dive right into it. So uh, there were three separate, like 15 ish minute demos during my time to play, and um, I did the second and third um the second was basically the meat of the gameplay dungeon diving uh very much like a palace or um you know uh something like that from persona and in fact this game has a lot of similarities to persona um it has this wonderful beautiful fantasy aesthetic the ui is like kind of has this hand-drawn look that's really amazing um and and very like it's in motion um so atlas obviously once again has outdone themselves in terms of overall look and feel um even though it, it still will be familiar for those who you know like persona and shimagami tensei um and in fact the way that you control your character in this dungeon is very similar to uh, how you would in Persona 3 Reload or Persona 5 going through a dungeon and hitting enemies. Although this uh, game does a few things to shake things up and add a bit more depth to combat. Weaker enemies, you can actually slash in the overworld and they will just die. You get experience and um, if you're not hit by them, you know, you don't get hurt. But you also have the option to do like a uh, turn-based combat with these smaller enemies, which is nice if you're more of a fan of that. So you do have this like actiony gameplay, and who knows, maybe they'll add like more abilities to the outside world as time goes on. Um, and then with bigger enemies, what you'll do is you'll attack them, um, kind of like getting a first strike or something. But you can break their gauge and stun them, and then you'll have an advantage in battle after after you slash them a couple times. And that brings you to the turn-based gameplay, which is very much like again Persona. Um, you know the spells and and buffs and stuff they all they all feel very similar the buffs actually share the same name as those from persona and then there are elemental based attacks of course you have uh elemental affinities so um if you're already familiar with persona gameplay this game will click pretty fast um again there are a few things that it does to differentiate itself like you can position um your allies in the front or back and then depending on where they are they take or deal less uh physical damage which is pretty cool um there's also um like they're not personas but they are um basically classes that you can assign to your uh characters and you can just do big bombastic abilities with them and then you can team up with your allies to do like synergy skills which just deal more damage and all of this is uh, while monitoring a resource called the turn icon. And um, you're given four at the start, maybe more later, who knows. Um, and you can, like, each ability takes up one, two, or more turn icons. So you kind of have to find a way to balance this while um, fighting enemies. And there's even, like, a, uh, a way to regain a little bit of it if you exploit an enemy's weakness. Um, but you can't do it infinitely, so obviously your turn is going to end at some point. But, you know, if you're effective with the way you manage these turn icons and your abilities, then you can get the most out of your attacks. Um, but yeah, I went through the dungeon, I killed like a Minotaur, there were some story segments, uh, although it's kind of hard to gauge what's going on in this story because, um, it's very out of context at this moment. But, you know, a lot of dialogue from characters, um party members even the hero uh your main character is voiced which is kind of different from like persona games um and you have dialogue choices and we also fought a boss and experienced some of the real life like i don't know daily life activities that you can do um there's this submarine ship thing called the gauntlet runner that's like your base of operations and you can like eat food there you can bond with your allies and um you know gain basically this game's equivalent of social stats it should again all be very familiar for you if you've played any persona game past like you know three um or yeah so <laughs> um and then it takes us to a boss segment 
It's just like weird, creepy human head with tentacles. And it's actually very tough. Um, the gameplay is um, for the boss. You know, we tried to focus on its head and exploiting its weakness, but it had these tentacles that would just thrash you around. So you really do have to be careful with how you manage uh, your party's health and um, just try to find the best way to use those turn icons. It, it, it's a pretty damn fun game. It's beautiful. Um, it does have its own identity, although the roots of Persona are still there. Personally, I can't wait to just dive into some more dungeons and explore the world and learn this lore. Uh, and we really don't have to wait too long to do so. And if you want to hear more about my time with Metaphor Re Fantasio or any other game from uh, Summer Game Fest like Dragon Age and, uh, well, a lot of others, then check out our website at techraptor.net and we will see you there.